Good evening. The concerts again, I don't. I know. Okay, so today is Thursday. Thursday, December 16th. Bueno, creo que ya todos les pagaron, ¿verdad? Recuerden que son 20 dólares por participante para la finalización del módulo, la número de cuenta del teacher es... Ajá. Yeah. Moving on to intermediate five. Oh my God, look at you. Hey, William, how are you? Hey, I'm good, teacher. How are you? I'm good too, I'm okay. Poor, but okay. Where's the money, Where, where's the money of your quincena? Uh, La Gran Vía. <laughs> really? That's sad. That is so sad. Yeah. yeah okay. Jose Antonio got, got a haircut, and that's it. Like yes. the Yankee. Yeah, like a haircut, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> life, life is expensive today. Nowadays, it's very expensive. It's small. Hey guys, have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, Guatemala. No? Anywhere? Guatemala. Yes. Uh, Guatemala. Guatemala. Guatemala? Really? Yeah. What did you like? The weather. The weather? Yeah. Where did you go? Uh, the capital. What is the capital of Guatemala? Guatemala. Guatemala, right? Yeah. Guatemala City. Okay. I, I went there once in 2004 when my mother came for the first time after, oh my God, I don't know, so many years, 11, 15 years. After 15 years, she came in 2004 and we went to the airport in Guatemala to pick her up. But 
I was amused. I was amused because of the pine trees, the pine trees, the cypress. Cypress, I, that's my favorite tree, cypress. The smell on the street, right, William? I mean, everything was so cold, you know. Yeah. It was good. It's very nice. That, that's that's it? Just Guatemala, William? Yeah. That's it. Okay, okay. I was trying to find out how to go from Florida to California because I'm planning. Next year, I have to travel. Next year, I have to travel. So we're planning to go to Florida to visit my brother. But the thing is that my, my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law lives in California. So we have to go to California. The thing is that how do we move from Florida to California, right? You can pay for an airline ticket, much money. Um, you can go by train, I thought. There's going to be a train. Yes, there is a train. It's like $300 each ticket, around $300. But it's almost four days, four days. by train. Four days by train. You go through, let me think. Um, and you got to go through Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, and you're in California. The same route, and then I thought, okay, what other option do we have? Renting a car, renting uh, a car, that's very expensive. Okay, no, 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 not an option. And by car, if you are driving, number one is dangerous because you don't know the roads, right? You can fall asleep, right? And uh, so I thought, what about the bus? What about the bus? So I thought about the bus service. And yes, you can pay for a ticket to go to California from Florida, the same route. And you do three days. You only do three days. You have many stops, you know, but it's just by bus. In three days, you make it to California. It's a road trip. That's the way it's called. There's a movie called Road Trip too. Road Trip. That's gonna be good, right? You check all the amazing things on the road, you know, you get to know more people, maybe, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Then I started trying to understand what am I gonna do in Florida? What am I gonna do in California? Interesting, I found out that in Florida, there's not too many things to do. But in California, man, there's a lot of parks with mm -hmm. very, very old uh, trees, you know, maple trees and all that. Big oaks, forests, lakes, beach. Beach. Mm -hmm. Beaches, a lot of beaches. That's amazing. So I don't know. I'm very excited. I'm very positive. I know that's, that's going to happen. And the next stop, maybe in 2024, it's going to be Frankfurt, Germany. I don't know. I'm just dreaming. <laughs> Where would you go, William, if you had the chance to travel? Um, uh, I don't know if it, Netherlands. Netherlands? I was thinking about that too. Yeah. Netherlands, Ireland. Yeah. The sea I like this kind of weather in these places. Oh, uh, no. I want to go to Netherlands to see if I can find Highlander, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that if I. Um, I found some um, Vikings. <laughs> some Vikings. Yes, there are some Vikings. Yeah. You, know, uh, you know, like structures, structures, mm -hmm. uh, huts. There are some huts as well. Yesterday, somebody asked me, teacher, how do you say cabaña in English? Yeah, pizza, hut. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we are 17. Let's go back to reality. Let me do the attendance. Tomorrow we have, yep. Somebody's trying to say something and you're breaking up. Okay. 
There we go. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Doug. Welcome. Wait, this thing is stuck. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Awesome. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Awesome. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Aquí, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Yes. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Okay. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Okay. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Okay. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Okay. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Yes. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good evening. Good evening. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. You are. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. There she is. Okay, so are you ready for your expositions about your purchase order? Remember yesterday's activity? Not yet. Not yet, really? Oh, but I have a problem. I couldn't. I couldn't put you together. Do you remember who were your classmates? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Irwin? I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> I tried to do it, but I don't remember uh, my, my classmates. Your classmates in the group. What about you, Sole Suleyma? Uh, I remember that I was with Caroline. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try to do something. I have never, I have never tried this option. I'll give you 10 minutes, just 10 minutes to prepare. I'm going to split the class in four groups. I remember we were four groups. But, but you can choose which room you want to select. So, for example, there you go. You have the option to select which room? Room one, room two, room three, room four. So for example, Suleyma can go on group on room one. And whoever was with Suleyma can go with Suleyma. William Alexander can go in room two. And the others just follow William. Irwin, you can go in group number three. And the others can follow him. Erwin was with us, but Erwin had problems with uh, his internet. Okay, so he should go, and go out with, of the of the group. Yeah. Okay. So Erwin, you go in group number two. Fernando, what? Who were you with? Uh, I was with uh, Erwin and Suleyma too. Okay. I'm confused. Okay. Suleyma, yeah, which group? I'm lost. Yeah, Suleyma is on group number two. Uh, I was. Number two, Suleyma. I was yeah, with I Suleyma and, and Carlin. Uh, Andres. Let, let, Everybody let, was let, with Suleyma and Carlin. Oh let, <laughs> let me remember. I, I went with Irwin and Yuri. I remember. Okay, go yes, ahead. Yes, I was. 
in that group too. Okay, select a room. Which room are you going to select, Fernando? What, what are available to choose? What do you have on your screen? Uh, One, two, three, four. Uh, four. Okay, go ahead. Yuri, you follow Fernando. But, Ernesto. Uh -huh. Her. Uh, I see the, the rooms, but I can join. join you cannot. I can, I cannot. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Let's try it. Teacher, I Joy, have yes, my cell yes. phone and I can see the group. You cannot see the group. I cannot see the group too. Because I have in my cell phone. Oh, okay. Me neither. I am from my cell phone and I cannot see. Okay, let's let me split you in a different way then. So we can do this again. Okay, let's just recall the information, okay? Recall the information. Roberto Luis, Sandra, William, William was with Caroline. Ada, Andres, Fernando, Josu Antonio, Josu Alberto. Okay, just recall the information and select one of you to discuss in, in the class what is a purchase order, you know, the components that we talked about yesterday, remember? The details of the product, the cost of the product, the price, if there was a discount, and the details of the provider, the vendor, right? It's just a purchase order. You got it? Okay, you have 10 minutes for this activity. Just talk to your classmates what you remember about yesterday. Let's go. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine. We are to create an order. I, I. Sorry. William? I have a real one. <laughs> but I can share it. <laughs> You can choose, sure. <laughs> you can share. Teacher, why can I? Okay. Thanks. Oh, my God. I don't know if you can see. This is a real one. Hello. Hello, teacher. Mm. Tenemos una pequeña duda ahí, que estamos en un grupo diferente al que trabajamos a, ayer. Sí, como Entonces, les decía, hay que discutir sobre qué trataba una orden de compra, cómo le estaban programando no, en su estaba... grupo anterior. Ah, ok. Al final, decidan quién de ustedes va a decir lo que es cada detalle de la orden de compra en la clase principal. Ah, ok. O sea, no necesariamente tenemos que quedar en el mismo grupo. No, ahorita no. Solo hay que rellamar la información. Ok. Entender, ya, entender qué partes okay. componen una buena orden de compra prácticamente. Ok. Thank okay. you. Thank you.
como que la indicación. El número de pedido debe aparecer en todas las facturas. Ajá. Purchase order number must be showed in all the invoices. Date. And, yeah. Vendor. The And then the item, quantity, unit, code, and description, unit price. Yeah, and then. Payment terms. Uh, y después esta gran letrería. Condiciones generales de compra. Mira todo lo que te ponen. Mm. Creo que son como cuatro páginas. Two o five. Reference. Reference and trigger. All the condition. Bien, ajá, las disposiciones generales de aceptación, las referencias, la entrega de aceptación de la entrega, las penalidades que pueden haber, después se ponen las modificaciones, ajá, embarques, la inscripción de los bienes, rechazo del suministro, los precios, empaque, activación y pago, gestión o subrogación de las cuentas por cobrar derechos y obligaciones en virtud de la orden, garantía contractual, garantía operativa, propiedad intelectual, seguro, autorización para el tratamiento de datos personales, nacionales, transporte de productos peligrosos, donde obligaciones <tose> del proveedor, um, Política de seguridad, medio ambiente y calidad, código de eta, ética, indem, indemnidad. Ahí termina. Un montón de cosas que hay que cumplir. Un montón. I thought for shares order was one page. Um, surprise. <laughs> Caterpillar. Refrigerante marca Caterpillar. And what and what kind of product offer the company or or, or its service? Yeah, it's service. In mm, what kind of service? Uh, maintenance. Oh, yeah. Which one? Industrial maintenance. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Sí se entiende, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Description, refrigerante, marca, company. Mm -hmm. Company name, address. Quantify, mm -hmm. unit. Uh, price, total. What's going on? Estamos viendo ahí, dicho, eh, decía Andrés, creo que, que ellos eh, eligieron un producto de, de, de una empresa. Y con William estuvimos hablando acerca de eh, algo de moda ahorita, que son la, las mascarillas, ¿verdad? Hacemos una breve descripción del producto, la presentación, el precio. Eh, de la forma de distribución al menú. Creamos hasta un correo. El suplidor o el... El proveedor, se le apaga el micrófono. Eh, y de ahí eh, los detalles ya cuando este, meten al cardex o al, el al control del inventario uh -huh. ajá, ya nosotros ahí eh, vimos que la orden este, pues recibimos lo que solicitamos ¿va? en base a la descripción y el producto que ellos nos presentaron creamos un código uh -huh. para la mascarilla y todo en este caso, creamos también un correo, eh, como el suplidor era osgasa infrasal, creamos ahí osgasa.hotmail.com, inventado todo. Eso fue a la conclusión que llegamos ayer con William. Es lo que yo les ex es medio explicaba a ellos ahí, ¿verdad? No sé si estará bien. Uh -huh. <ríe> todo. It's okay. Now in English. <ríe> Now we have to work it in English along with the class. We're almost going back two more minutes and we go back to the class. Determine who is who is going to present the gross idea. Okay. Okay. Thank you. High heels. High heels. High heels. No shoes. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se escribe ese high heels? <laughs> hey, Asia's in hotel. I am in India, I am in George, hotel, then space, just Asia in hotel, E E L S. <laughs> Me lo escriben por favor en el chat. <laughs> Hi, is the alto. Hi, folks. Okay, I am already down. Uh, like this, Wendy? Okay. Um, yes. Solo que va junto, creo. Vaya. A ver, ya tenemos un... Y como son compradoras compulsivas, serían tres, ¿verdad? Ay, no, qué mal. <laughs> We're very bad. Let me see how much is it that shoes? Do you know? Let me see. Mm. At least okay. $25. Okay. $45. $45. Yes, yes. 
Spotify. Just one, I guess. Okay. If we have time, we are going to add other one. And we are almost there. The tax is going to be 30%. Okay. And we are going to give a discount like $5. And let me see name. Did you have any question about the invoice? Please contact us. And phone. Same phone. Okay, and copy that other place. I don't know why, but I can put on the presentation. Let me see, say as like a new, I don't know, like a copy. That information, and I have the manager or the or the or the or the or the, the manager or the bus have that information. Okay. Yeah. No, there has to be a total net of price. This is the price. Customer price. And let's say the sum. You can have the the whole price, the the customer the the price the end price, but it's not necessary because if you have this one and this one, final price Be, because this is for the government. This, the, that money, no, uh, in no sí. your company. It, this is your money. Yeah, this is your. Pero money. sí, pero se se usan esas casillas en los reportes para hacerlo más fácil. You can use it. You can use, for example, in my company, I have this one, this one, and with dot and with both, okay? With that and that. When I when I change the contability for one day sell, for one day, but my my counter, my counter, uh, my counter, my, my financial financial professional, they they I sent that time of report. Okay. Well, but you can change, okay? This is the general. Oh, so, so no, uh, please explain me something. Uh, you have the customer price is the price that the customer pay for yeah. the product. Yeah. yeah, okay. But 
what but, is but without, what is your, the cost of the product? Okay, the margin gain. This is a, in, in the program. In the program, okay. Mm -hmm. They told you this one. Ah, but it's a percentage. Uh, yes. well, well, if I I want to see or uh, calculate uh, all the dollars. Okay. Not percentage, can, dollars. Okay, you can change, you can change about the percent by money. You can change in the program. You mm -hmm. can change, oh, I want money. No, I want a percent. But, but there is a one problem. It's for you so difficult to know. Ah, how many percent is if I, if I sell one product to twenty dollars in your mind, you have to do it the per, the, the percent, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's most it's more it's important because this is the general, okay, general. After that, you will have all or other other reports only the utility about the company or the mm -hmm. report only the utilities in that report. You will have the how many in dollars. This is a how many in percent because is the teacher told yesterday about the that information, that information, that information, that information, that information. Okay? But in the company, you will have a the program, for example, SAP. You say one program, the ARP. The name, the name of that program, the, that program is Enterprise Research Planning. And you can you can find many many programs that can type. For example, SAP. This is one. In my company, I had one. The name is Nexus. But in general, you can find that kind of product, that kind of software. The name is Enterprise Research Planning. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about description? I can not see description in this. Okay. The description, all the problem only are number. Only number. You will never, uh, will, will we see, uh, for example, it, it, it's so difficult uh, to find the name, for example, in, in case, Bateria N50 Seca. All the code is, 27 eh, PS 51. Ah, the código, una 27. Sorry. Ah, 127. Okay. This is the name of the código. When you when you buy something, all the time, you will find only the code, not the name, only the code. For example, I will give you one example in a moment. Let me a moment, please. For example, I have a Coca Cola. I bought it. Okay. But you can find only the number. The no this is the name commercial, okay? But the number, the product in the program is this one. Yeah? I don't that's, see how that's, yeah, yeah, that's inventory management. Actually, how do you discharge the inventory? How do you identify each product? Yeah. Uh, and yes, there's a lot of codes on the car decks, on the system that you implement on your job. But uh, the your task right now is just to explain or break down an, um, an order. That, that was it, you know, it's not an invoice, it's actually just. I saw yesterday something that you, yeah. you, you sent. I send you yeah, some examples of purchase order. A yes. purchase order that you could just fill out, you know, yes. what's the item, the description yes. of the item, the unit yes. price. One. I, it's, not, I, it's basically what the customer sees, you know, what they see. Okay, mm -hmm. but yes, when I saw it in the in the in the in the group? WhatsApp, mm -hmm. in the WhatsApp group, it's so easy. But in the class, you told all of that information, okay? All of that kind of information. Uh, yeah. in, in, in the in the financial yeah, the, book, the book yeah. makes it a lot 
are yeah. very, uh, okay. very when complicated. You told, okay, when you told this one, oops, this is a general cell report. Okay, only that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very, it's identical to a cell report. That's true. Okay, guys, we have to take it back so we can discuss this as a group. Let's go. Okay, good. So let's start with a volunteer, someone who wants to break down a purchase order for the class. Remember that you need to identify each part of the purchase order. You know, if you want to talk about how this affects your inventory, you can do that as well. Let's wait for the others so I can repeat what I just said. Hold on. There we are. Okay, I said. Feel free, if you want to say something, go ahead and do it. Explain to the class, what is a purchase order, you know, and how does it affect directly or indirectly to your inventory, okay? How does it work? Go ahead. What have you understood about a purchase order in, in inventory management? Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Fernando, would you like to start? Yes, no, no problem. Uh, uh, we have uh, an example, a little example, a purchase, a purchase order. Um, so that is uh, the, all the data that a uh, factor uh, invoice uh, has to have to be or to needs have. To have. Needs to have. It needs to have. So that is very simple. Uh, you have the information when the when the from the when you purchased and what what and what is the the place that you you will ship to. So you have the company names that is the the, the seller or vendor. The vendor uh -huh. yes and ship to is the customers mm -hmm. the customer so uh, you have the, the the addresses you have the phone email from vendor and from the customer you have all the information you have the id of vendor that is the id of vendor vendor id you have the the, the uh, purchase order date uh, when uh, purchase order number that is not Normally, it's a unique number, a unique number for the purchase order. So, uh, then you have the the delivery date is when you will will send. We that in that in that date you have to deliver to the customer and the customer the, the same day have to has to receive the, the product. The shipping shipping method. It's the, the way that you or trans, the, the, the transport method of that transportation you, method of transportation that you 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 are Going sending to. and the, the shipping terminals where for example uh, in this case uh, after after infecting the the product uh, on delivery uh, you uh, you you have to check that the product are are well that the the the, the sender set. So uh, the payment due date, the payment due date is uh, due due uh, due date. 
uh, in, this, in this case is after delivery, you uh, delivery. you got you got the pay from the customer. You got the payment. You got the payment. From the so you got the payment. The payment term is uh, in this case uh, after shipment quality has been approved. Uh, the, the 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 customer has to to uh, approve the quality of the product and in in in, in that in that instant when uh, he he receives so mm -hmm. uh, you have the price the 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 item the description the quantity a unit price for the customer in total price uh, in this case is a uh, you don't have the, the, the price, the cost of of of, of, of this to sell because Why? it's a because uh, that is for the customer. Right, that's for the customer. So then you have the taxes. The taxes uh, usually are, for example, you you pay taxes for deliver for delivering for delivery. for, for uh, maybe the transporting and that that's. That is uh, for that is uh, uh, the that purchase order affects uh, directly to, directly to the inventory because when you you send when the purchase order is the first step uh, you you don't you don't go out the stock of this product until you send to the until you send until you send to the customer. When you when the when the customer receives the product and the purchase order is is done, uh, the, you have to to remove from the stock of your inventory because it's yeah, that is that that becomes in a in a in a sale. That becomes a sale. Yes. That's it. Excellent. Like it. Okay, Fernando, select somebody else. Now, as Fernando said, this is what the customer will see. So you cannot include cost information. Um, yeah, maybe discount information, you know, but costs, that's something internal to your company. Some companies actually include an item number like Fernando did on, the, on that purchase order but some others they don't even include the the product code the product code okay who is next for uh, i see william enthusiastic maybe william william is very enthusiastic to come to the front okay william your turn My group, Caroline. <laughs> Carol. Yeah, wait. Carol. Give me a minute. Give me just one second. Wait a minute. Okay, whenever you're ready. Who's playing? Who oh. with Jenna's bookshop. Okay, teacher, I'm going to express my idea. Mm -hmm. 
um, uh, the order uh, is an is a document and what said the relation to a seller and purchase and this document had the different condition but I'm not express uh, like a taxes is is the original document what is uh, a big commercial this mm -hmm. document um, is used for a transfer the product when when the sell, sell the vendor can transfer immediately the product and how to send and this document uh, is the for example in the border and with this document has to identify the the mercury that is translate is is a legal a legal the, uh, it's a legal the, document the 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 document so um uh, this document is constituted by the information the vendor the name and the address uh Telef and the customer who received the vacancy is the name, uh, direct address, uh, uh, tell, and the information or description, and that's pro that has buy, buy in and quantify and the uh, unit price and the total okay and some some other document uh, said that uh, for example uh, additional information about the condition that transfer mm -hmm. okay and only that that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else from the group who wants to add something? How does this affect your inventory? Uh, like accumulate uh, products that it does it don't sell. That are not sold. Not sell, uh, but it's not because we are talk about about school supplies. So it's not ah, disparage. We saw yesterday. How how is the word? Guess deteriorar. This year, spoiled. What? Spoiled. They get spoiled. Probably. They oh, get yeah. spoiled. 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 Uh, so I think about this this inventory. Hmm. Okay. I have a question for you. Uh, does this this charge your inventory? Your stock of inventory, uh, a purchase order discharges the inventory or reduces the inventory. Does it? Reduce. It reduced the inventory? Okay. Do we all agree? Okay. Yeah. What's the difference between a purchase order and an invoice? Uh, for me, 
for me, uh, a purchase order doesn't affect the, the inventory. Uh, the, that a purchase order becomes in an invoice after yeah. when the, the purchase order is approved. The invoice uh, affect the inventory, not the purchase order. Excellent. It reduces the inventory existence, right? Yeah. I got it. Totally agree with you. Excellent. One more. Just one more. If somebody else wants to participate, this is your moment. Become famous. Hello. If you want to be Justin Bieber, just for four minutes, it's your time. No? Okay. Can I okay. Work, yeah, go ahead, Erwin. Okay. <clears throat> I will play the subject. subject. Uh, I'm going to share. Okay. I will, I, will, I will share after you share the information. But uh, would you have a company? First, you have the pro forma invoice. Pro forma invoice is the information that one, it is a business to business. You have a two, two types of the, of, the, of, the, of the customer. Business to business, you would use pro forma invoice. After that, you will do it purchase order. The purchase order is that the company how the company have to do with the manufacturing to do the product in the end. Or it's like the sending the credit when you talk about the other, when you talk about the other company that will be, you will buy something in the future. After that, you will be the order, the boys, the bill. But in, in our case, I will explain Guys, uh, I would share no problem. Yeah. Okay. I try to share, but I forgot. Just hit the share button and, and it will allow okay. you. There you go. There okay. you go. Okay. 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 Uh, this is a, the when you in yesterday you talk about each you talk about that how is uh, the, in the, the information, the general information. But the general information, you can, we want you to, to speak about Colecciones Elian. Colecciones Elian, the owner is Elizabeth Anna. They sell jeans, perfumes, uh, dress, shoes, mm -hmm. etc. Okay. Colecciones Elian uh, got a one program, SAP. SAP is a program that gives you all information you can you can see in that. In that's that a common. Picture. That's a common inventory program. Yeah, yeah, it's a common. But this is a common. Uh, it's a SAP. The ERP. The ERP is this one. You can see. You can see. Enterprise. ERP, uh, ERP is Enterprise Research Plan. Yeah. They give you all information that you want. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. But first, when you have a, the general sales report, you will have the date, for example, uh, the one on Monday to Tuesday, or the one month or the one year. Okay? Mm -hmm. The general, you can change this one because the program, you can change all that you want. But the general, this one. For example, is a business to customer, not business to not business to business, business to customer. Mm -hmm. Hour of sale, two, three, pen, for example. Invoice code. It's the number of the of the invoice. Yeah? Okay. The customer price. Oh, how many pay the the customer? Ah. How much? How much? Uh, $18. Okay. After that, you need one information about tax. In El Salvador, the name, the tax is IVA, Impuesto Valor Agregado. Oh, 2.38. But the program, SAP, gives you the information about the margin of gain. For example, if I, if I sell this one, 
in $38, you won 25%. Yeah? After that, the product have a one code. This is the code of the product in the, for the company. Yeah? But the company, we bought, we bought in other company. For example, ah, supplier, Amazon. Supply contact, ah, eh, Peter Drops. Ah, we know who is Peter Drops. But the, the, that, product, the, that product, the SAP gives you the information about when is the when was the product in your warehouse in your warehouse for example on october oops it's a problem because i sell in order in order date today oops i have a problem many times in the warehouse after that that product that code gives you where was the product ah yeah, that the product in one on eight only call. For example, warehouse one, uh, step A, and seven gondola. I don't think that's a gondola. Mm -hmm. Okay, gondola. Show. Show. Okay, show. Okay, you can show the show. But all information gives you the sub. But that information only can see the bus. The manager or okay. the all, all, all this information can only be seen or can only be viewed internally in the company by the boss, the manager. Yep, go ahead. But not the cashier. Not the cashier? The, not the cashier. The cashier only saw this one. The cashier can only see this part. Mm -hmm. this I got part. it. Only that. That information. Uh, about hour of sale it should be date and time or just time time sold you could say yes. time sold or a vendida time yes. sold it's, it's necessary ah, time, excuse, excuse me this is necessary because you have a camera in that moment right right okay you can show the the customer in that moment uh, when, uh -huh. when the customer bought the pro the, the product yep okay Got it, got it. Now, this, guys, this is very interesting because this is the opposite to the purchase order, or we could call it a cardex, an extension of the purchase order, because after, I mean, to approve a purchase order, this is what you need to check. Oh, last time, Irwin sold, hold on, who sold, who sold this product? Where's the, 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 the um, seller, seller information? Supplier. Well, let's say that there's a vendor here. There's a salesperson okay. in charge of this one. You can, you can change this one, for example. For example uh, yeah, you can add example. another one. Okay, yeah. oh, to get the other one. Vendor code. Vendor code, uh, the vendor code, code for example, six, 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 six. Yeah. Like James, like James Bond, okay? Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I took the time format, don't worry. So yeah, yeah okay. you got my point. So uh, that vendor sold uh this amount of tires so now we know oh wait we're selling five more on this other purchase order and there's just five in stock so we will run out of product uh oh and that's a product in demand okay and then you can make decisions and this is how a purchase order an invoice especially will affect your inventory because it will make you think, oh my God, we're running out of our best seller. Then you go to the boss, right? Hey, look, we're running out of this product. Are we having more product next next week or what? Right? Oh no, no, it's okay. I, I already ordered more product, right? Of this line of business or you know what? Mm -mm. We are not bringing that product anymore. Ooh, yep. And that is a whole chain, you know. I have a question for you. If you think as a business, do you have to, or is it important to include your sales, your sales uh, crew 
to include your sales crew on the decision making process? Do you have to include your sales crew on the decision making process on what to sell, getting ideas from them, you know, what products to include in the inventory? I guess, yes, because they know about consumer needs. They have the experience. Yeah. Good idea. Do you think companies do that? Sometimes. Now let me turn the tortilla around, okay? Let me turn the tortilla around and say, uh, do your company, does your company include you on important decisions? Teacher, I have a question. Sorry. Yep. The the sales how can I sales crew? Sales crew. Yeah. The sales uh, crew is your team, your sales team. Okay, okay. In the moment, in the moment in, in all the company uh, are sellers men, the sellers women. All the company, all the person, all the staff. Uh -huh. For example, you say I'm a cashier, you are a sales woman. Yeah? All the person is a sales. All and the personal? Uh, all the personal is a sales. Sales is a, it's a, it's, it's a vendor. It's a uh, you mean that everybody needs to know how to sell? Yes. I got your point. Yeah. That's yeah. an strategy. That's an strategy. Yes, it's, it's, yeah. it's a good strategy. In that moment, in the administration, all the person uh, is a vendor. Yeah. You know, you know, in that company that I always talk about where I used to work, it's a family business, it's part of my family too. Uh, but it's funny now that you mention it. Every single employee during the induction process, remember the induction to your company, right? Induction process. They had to go with the owner to a training, a training of one hour or so, or two hours sometimes, to know about tires, to know about the product, how a tire is composed, what kind of tires they sold, and so on. Everybody, even the person from, uh, you know, the, the maintenance people, people from maintenance that used to go to the training, everybody must know about the product, he used to say. But uh, nobody could sell, only the sellers, you know, only the sales force could sell. <laughs> What's irony now that Irwin mentioned it? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Let me do the attendance for a second time so we can move on with our topic on your book. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Sí. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Judy Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. And Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's move on with your topic. Let's go to page. Present. I didn't say present. present. I, what? I didn't I'm say present. Sorry, did I? You didn't mention. I didn't mention you both. Thank you. Yes. Alexander de Jesus and Jesoto and Joseph. I got you guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank you. 
You're welcome. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so talking about the moon. Inventory. We have to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. This is a very easy topic. It's easier than the previous ones, at least. Okay. What is what what does it sound like? How do you call this in Spanish? A cycle count. Rotación inventario. Ciclo. Ciclo de contado. Ciclo de contado. What? How do you call it in Spanish in your company? You do it once or twice a year. Ciclo programado. Ah, in, inventario, inventory. <laughs> yeah, that's the word you call it <laughs> yeah. in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Inventario de la jefe. La otra semana oh. no dormimos, va jefe. <laughs> va a comprar pollo, va jefe. Same thing every year. Well, I don't know if you do inventory. Yeah. But in reality, I heard as well, levantamiento de inventario. Uh, muestreo de inventario. I, I don't know. What other terms do you know in Spanish for that? Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> okay. Evil can evil. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? Accurate. How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Okay, let's talk about accurate, accuracy on an inventory, lifting, let's say. When you perform an inventory, and let's talk about two separate uh, things, okay? Number one, when you talk about the main objects in your company, you know, like the fixed assets, your chairs, the desks, the computers, number of employees, whatever, you name it. If you have a tag, right, a barcode, you belong to the company, right? So that's one kind of inventory uh, and it's called inventory of fixed assets, okay? That's something that you may not know or you may not see, but if your company distributes products or produces products, then you may be part of this every year. And if you are part of this, it means that your company trusts in you to help them counting the number of units. So um, how do they keep the inventory count accurate? This is crucial because it's reality, you know, it's the most real thing in the company, where you're standing, where you're standing, where are you standing in terms of money? How often do you think a, uh, a company or a warehouse should count their inventory? Twice a week, uh, a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Look. <laughs> yes. Twice a year. Hmm. What do you think, Luis, Judy? Maybe once a year. Once a year. Okay. Sandra? Okay, nobody wants to speak today. Okay, Jocelyn, what do you think? Sorry, uh, Jocelyn, go ahead. Sorry, teacher, can you ask me the question once again? I'm sorry. What is okay with you? How often do you think a warehouse or a company should keep you know, she'll do an inventory count. Mm, well, I guess that maybe 
twice in a year because the expired product, the products that will be run. Uh, you mean the, uh huh? If they are uh, perishable items, then they should do it twice but, a year. Uh, yes, but I have here, I, I, I have a neighbor who, uh, sorry, I have a neighbor, uh, she works for Super Selectos. And she mentioned that in the Super Select market, they may inventory, I guess, four times in a year for the products that are, are going to be expired soon. But I am not sure. This is talking about a, a supermarket. You know, I worked at Super Selectos and I was part of an inventory, the final inventory of the year. And it's crazy, I have to admit. Have you ever go to Super Selectos and, and bought a, a can of something and you notice that on the shelf, the first product in the line has a little sticker, a red sticker with a number one? Yeah. Yeah? It means that they have recently made an inventory and that was the last line they count you know it's like an identifier for that specific product it's like we already counted this product code because as Irwin was saying there's a specific code for each product they don't count okay we have 20 cans of tomato soup uh, of del valle tomato soup we have 20 cans of del valle tomato soup there are like five different cans of tomato soup from the Valle. So what is it? Oh, with chili. Okay, there are three types of chili they add. Oh my God, you see? It's crazy, right? So how do they manage? How do they keep their account accurate? Okay, and how often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? I'm gonna split you just for five minutes so you can do these two questions among yourselves. It's very simple, it's five minutes and we come back, okay? Let's okay. go. Good evening, guys. Hey. First question is, how do companies keep inventory account accurate? What do you think, guys? I saw a company that they use, the because the the inventory is complicated to to do it regularly they have a a, a drive uh, that they per, the that the drive the drive permit the scan the barcode of the 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 boxes just putting in front of this this the the the, the goods uh, with a we will have contact with the box and then that they that the, the that hardware connect with the stock the the software with the stock market the the stock the the warehouse i'm sorry and that way they are they all or delete some product and using just this a simple scan and with a open or with a have a contact with the boxes, it's really simple the way that they they do it and they do it really fast. With the scan in embark embark call. Uh, that that 
that drive just scan the barcode that you are going to find in the boxes that the the goods the co of company and the that it, that is a really simple way to do it but if you do a manual you are going to spend a lot of time for example if you see the company we are closed for inventory and they spend a lot of time doing that but now it's really simple using a specific software and hardware yes in my company is the similar but the problem is when you have a small object in my company you uh, will say needless kneel with a woman in for example this is more difficult because it's very small but in my company used to uh I scan very many products and to me as top uh, inventory represent a cost, a higher cost. And that's, I guess, is um, not frequently like. Um, one of the year they celebrate inventory. And that is the reason depend the call the the kind of problem. The company. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a question to share. When you when you said uh, cycle count is an inventory for the all the the uh, the products or the equipment of the of the store or warehouse the two no no i was just giving you an example but yeah for the fixed assets i think it's just once a year because of yes, the okay but depreciation yes yeah, but it is the products it's just the products yes uh, in terms of product inventory rotation is different. Uh, yes. We're talking about the, the cycle of the inventory count, how many times a year you have to count your product again. Yes. Uh, it depends the, 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 the rotation of the inventory of the store. You maybe you have product that you can you don't sell every day, but uh, maybe for example, if you have a, a enterprise or company that sells uh, trucks, you what? don't yes trucks trucks, trucks. oh trucks trucks. Uh -huh, trucks you don't sell I don't know I don't know if it is is but we you don't sell. 1,000 trucks uh, for, for each day. I don't know. Per day. But yeah. Mm. Yes. But uh, you, for example, you, what? You, uh, you, you have a, a slow rotation of your inventory, maybe. So of you course. don't have to, you don't have to, to do the inventory uh, more often. Too, too often, I don't know. That, that often, you don't need the inventory that often. True, it is true. But there is, uh, okay, doing an inventory count, let's say, uh, it's like an obligation, you know, it's your responsibility because every year you have to declare your taxes, right? Yes. But you have to know and you have to declare how much inventory you have. Because the inventory is part of your fixed assets. Yeah, for said the cost, the final cost, you have to mm -hmm. make the inventory. You have to all the time. That is true. Okay, keep it up. That's a good thought. Where's Jocelyn? Okay. Oh, there she I am is. here. Be okay. here. Recording stop. 
<laughs> okay, Corin, let's start. Okay. Played in the in the inventory. Yeah, um, in my company, uh, we have we make a inventory with uh, uh, it's not not a triple logistic. This is a uh, another company. It's a uh, it's how do you say subcontratado teacher? Outsourced. Yeah, our company has a uh, outsourced. It's a um, another company that. Mm, uh, give us a uh, maintenance service. And one, uh, an employee of that company help us is with a uh, spare part inventory. In my case, I don't participate in inventory because it's made by the accountant. And it's a uh, there are many things that they have in, on inventory, so it takes uh, too much time to do it because there, there are a lot of tools, 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 uh, tools equipment, computers, uh, cars, and a lot of things that they have to take control. Okay. Okay, in my case, um, in the monthly inventory, only participate logistic and supervisors and the personnel of the warehouse. But in the annual inventory, uh, participate a lot of people. I uh, think it's around, let me see, 100 people. And I participate, but not physically. I am in the, um, in my company called Stack Control. We are in charge. We are in charge uh, of the all the system. Uh, to, we have to print all the items that uh, they are in the in the warehouse in the packaging area, in the shipping area, and in the production floor. And when the uh, supervisor checks that the information is correct, uh, they came back to the tag control and we have to um, send uh, and make all the, all the reports to the corporate, corporate office. Corporate, corporate office, the headquarters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are the last, <laughs> always in the in the inventory. All people go uh, to their house, and we are in the plant making <laughs> the reports. <laughs> it's the worst part. <laughs> worst part. Good job. Okay. Let's go. Okay, okay, let's continue. So for our next activity, we have a reading. Very simple. Always talking about the inventory process and all this. And this is on page 37. You can practice with a classmate. It says here in the, I'm sorry. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 
200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here, record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, any new words? What I mean wooden? Wooden. Excellent. Made of wood. Tree. Madera, right? <laughs> ah. Yeah. Made of wood. What is plank? What is on plank? End. Based uh -huh. on information, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Could plank. be a, a plain wood. Plank. Yeah. Like a meter. Mm -hmm. Like a meter of wood. No. Okay. A meter of wood. Yeah. That could be a plank. A big piece of wood. Un tablón, pues. It's easier. <laughs> With like, okay. We got beautiful Spanish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's I'm not. not a, that, that's not a common word. That's not a common word. And let's let's make sense of this lecturing inventory that we have. 200 wooden planks. Hmm. What's the other product? Wooden boards. What about a crate? A crate of electronic devices. You remember what is a crate? We saw it. Yeah. A box. A box, right? A wooden box. They typically make these boxes out of recycled wood, right? Yes, exactly. Very good. Yes. Very good. Any other word? Wooden boards. It's the same that wooden planks. Excellent. 200 wooden planks. 200 wooden boards. Excellent. It's a synonym boards, planks. Mm -hmm. But she said that the, the problem is that what recorded run <laughs> actually. They were recorded as boards and they were actually planks. Yeah. What's the difference? Um, 200 wooden boards, 20 wooden planks. Ah, the, the, the size? The size, right? Because when you go to a, to a place that sells uh, wood, you can buy a pliego, right? That's the common size, you know, a pliego, a board. A board is usually a pliego of wood. So that's a board. And a plank is is uh, thicker. A plank is thicker, okay, thicker and thinner than a board. Makes sense. Okay. What was doc? Spanish. <laughs> what was it? Uh huh. Muelle. Muelle. Muelle, canalla, muelle. Colecto. Okay, let's go ahead and practice this conversation just for five minutes. When we come back, we're going to talk about new grammar. Very fun grammar. Let's go ahead and do it. This is, by the way, page 37 still. There's a conversation on page 37. I'll send it to your WhatsApp right away. Let's go. Take turns, take turns.
Well. Okay, you are Steve Jose. Okay, and Steve. He says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plank, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I think that we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, manager is also asking for a crate. Do you pronounce that word? Crate? Crate. Crate of crate? electronic mm -hmm. devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was played in the wrong dock. So I don't know if Roberto is here. Um, I think no. So Irene, um, you can be a Steve and Josue, you can be Anna. Yes. Okay. It says it says the it says here in the inventory that we have two hundred wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Two hundred wooden planks. Mm, I remember. We got an order from manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a, a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were record, recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the create was placed in the room dot. 20 wooden planks, and it seems the created was placed in the wrong dot. Crate via Brazil Crate via Brazil. Which which chain row? Now I am Nana. <laughs> Who I is need Steve? Steve. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. <laughs> the 200 wooden board we record as 20 wooden, 20 wooden plants. And it said, since the cray was placed in the wrong dock.
Okay. I will be as uh, Anna. Anna, okay? Who will be as Hey teacher, you look so exhausted. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Actually, I'm, I'm very happy because uh, I have been I've been in the house <laughs> the whole day, yesterday, today, the whole week. Very happy. Yeah, because I have been working on, <laughs> on the car. I have been working in the uh, on the car, you know. Okay. And it's giving me good results. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe in you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trust me. I'm gonna trust you. I'll trust you. Okay, let's talk about grammar here on your book. Uh, but well, before that, there are some questions as usual. What item is Steve looking for? What wooden item? planks. Wooden planks, good. Who placed an order for wooden boards? Who placed an order for wooden boards? Um. It's deep. Let me see. A manufacturer table. A manufacturer, yes. A manufacturer, and that was a man. Was a, the people who manufacture tables? Okay, okay, that's good. Good job, Jenny. Why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Because we were recorded wrong. <laughs> they were recorded wrong. Just a name will. Create a mismatch on the inventory and you're, you know, in bad conditions. Okay, let's move it. Page 30, suffix. What is a suffix, Alexander? I, I bet you know. What is a suffix? Suffix is a letter of group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a letter of group of letters okay. added at the end of a word which makes a new word. And the new word is most often a different word category from the original word. This means that, yeah, the means change. The meaning changes, the meaning changes. The meaning changes. Right, noun suffixes make a verb into a noun. <gasps> noun suffixes make a verb into a noun. This is a... We could call it a complex topic because when you see things like this from a grammar perspective, it's, you know, it's too extensive. But for example, this is just an example in your book. You add ER, IER, or OR, <laughs> or OR to the end of a verb to make a noun. For example, drive. Driver. Driver. Cook. Driver. Cooker. Play. 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 Sing. Singer. Singer. You got Singer. it. Teach. 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 Okay. So on. So in this case, the nouns are the names we use to designate people's occupation or labor. For example, manufacturer, manufacturer, supply supplier, distribute, distributor, 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 manage, manager, retail, retailer, wholesale, wholesaler, sell, seller. Now, it's very complex in terms of the extensive variety of, of suffixes you may have. And, and the problem with this is that each suffix, each suffix has different meanings. 
So let's look at some examples. I'll send you this so you have fun during your vacation. Yoni, turn on your micro. I mean, turn off your microphone, please. I'm tired too. <laughs> okay. Let's I see. knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Come on, I'm <laughs> Of course I'm tired. <laughs> Who's not going to be tired? You work. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. Let's do it that way. So, for example, the suffix able, able, or able, okay? Able to. So, these suffixes mean able to, bendable, okay, capable demonstrable and that's that means that you are able to demonstrate you're able to show your capacity you're able to bend a material able up able 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 okay next and so on you have issues cause okay Ashes, c o u s l mm, there's no way to pronounce them by themselves doesn't make sense. You have to study, like having the quantity of. So if you add these three like letters. Like having the, the quality of spacious, loquacious, beneficial. Okay. If you add it at the end of a verb or another word like space, spacious, loqu loquacious, loquacious, like having the quality of spacious, loquacious, beneficial. Loquacious, loquacious, which is to be eloquent, let's say. Okay. Benefit, beneficial. Okay. The, the meaning in Spanish should be very similar. These are other suffixes, and you have the act or of, the act of a state of being. Truancy, medicancy, some will not make sense to you. Let's see if you recognize some of them. Participate, participant, part, partner, okay? Success, successor, okay? The meaning changes, the meaning changes. And this is what we're looking at. And, er, or, see? And, and, er, or, okay? A R or airy, connected with, reacted to, benefit, beneficiary, beneficiary, fiducit, fiduciary, and so on. The, the meaning changes, you know, it gives a different meaning. Let me find something more uh, accurate for you. The quality of or act of. Different difference. Consequent consequence. Eloquent eloquence. Okay. I like your eloquence, Alexander. Yeah, it makes a difference. Thank you. In, in consequence, I'm gonna give you a seven on your final exam. Okay, let's go. Fool can be <laughs> at the beginning of a word. And for example, it means fool. This this is very familiar, right? Look, fool. The suffix full into the word. So bliss, blissful, boast, boastful, care, careful. I'll send you this presentation so you can study each one of those. Let me see if I, we find something. Oh, look at this. The practice of support, the practice of or support of active activism. Alarm, alarmism. Absolute, absolutism. Socialism, etc. Okay, so is the part the practice of or the support of? So you are in favor of being active, being alarmist, you know, alarmism, and so on. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, look. 
one who makes or does IST. So, florist, Buddhist, centrist. Okay. I like the one that talks about science. Let me find it. Uh, adaptive, addictive, abusive, having the nature of. Adapt, adaptive, addict, addictive, abuse, abusive. Oh, look at this. This suffix is very useful, guys. Color, less. Fruit, less. Sight, less. Breathless. Breathless. Right? Sleepless. Sleepless. What is the meaning of sleepless then? Despelado. Yeah. Now be careful because some adjectives, for example, you cannot use them with suffixes. Because what would be the suffix, or in my example, the prefix of lucky or luck, you know, L U C K? Bad luck. Mm -hmm. How can you modify luck, L U C K? What can you add after the word luck? In order Lucky. to get no luck. Mm. Luckness. We're, luck. Okay, Let, exactly. We are talking about suffixes. So if I say lucky, luckness, it becomes a noun. Luck, lucky. If I say luckily, uh, luckily. Uh huh. So again, luck. Lucky, luckily, luckily, luckily. Google, can you check this word? Luck, luckily. Yeah, luckily. Yes, let me check. That's an adverb. <laughs> but if I want to say something negative, let's luckily, say luck. yes. Yeah, what about luckless? Afortunadamente. Can I say luckless? Luckless, let me check. Luck. Yes. yes. Yes, right. Can I say unlock? Unlucky? Unlucky? Unlucky. Unlucky. Let me check. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Yes. What's the meaning of unlucky? Unlucky, unlucky is the saying of un unluckless or fortuneless. Unfortunately, yes, right. You see, so now this is not our topic. That is called a prefix. Prefix. So understand the meaning. Pre means before, right? Okay. And su means after. Got it? So suffix, prefix. Prefix goes before the noun. Suffix goes before, I mean, after the word. You got it? Okay. Can you think about more examples? I'm just going to go through the slides. So you can see more examples. Oh, this is the one that I mentioned. Ology. Biology. Psychology. Immunology. Okay. It's the study of. Biology. Now, por favor, tengan cuidado, no vayan a inventar palabras. O sea, los sufijos y prefijos no se agregan así a... <ríe> por... a lo loco. <ríe> a lo loco. <ríe> you cannot say crisiology, for example, or I don't know. A lo loco. <ríe> Womanology. <ríe> right? No. Beer, beerlogy. Doesn't make sense, right? Beerlogy. The study of beer. But okay, no, there, there's an order, and and yeah, the word must exist, and so on. Okay, uh, meant 
ailment, ailment, the act of being ill, the state of abandon, abandonment. Oh, that that car has been an abandonment for many years. Okay, excitement. There's so much excitement when dad comes home, and so on. Ness, the quality of abstractness, absurdness, abruptness, and so on. You got it? Okay. Yeah. It's a total of 27 slides. If I were you, I will study this topic. It's very interesting. You can learn a lot from it and sound more professional. Okay, let me do the attendance tonight. I may stay with dun, 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 dun. Fernando or Suleyma. Who wants to stay 10 minutes? Uh, me. Hey, Fer. Good. Let's yes. stay for 10 minutes only and then we go. Okay. Where is the list? Chicos, recuerden la encuesta de satisfacción se va a hacer el día de mañana. Acá en la clase hasta que la hagamos juntos. Ok, yo creo que todos saben el módulo, el módulo anterior. No es necesario explicar mucho eso. So, no, vay, no vayan a realizar la encuesta. Y tienen hasta ahora la medianoche para terminar sus ejercicios de la plataforma hasta la tarea final. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, good night. Good night, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Hey, Diego Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Irene Susana Cuero Albanés. Present, good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Josué. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Good teacher, good night. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Robert, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaña Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Good night. You didn't say my name. Uh, who? Suleyma? What? Yes. No way. <clears throat> I said it. Mm -mm. Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Selena. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Mr. Fernando Cosmo Morales, how are you doing tonight? Ah, more or less. Uh, I I have been sick for two days. You've been sick for two days. Yes, um, I'm it? still sick. I'm still. I'm still sick. Still sick. Yes. What's wrong with you? Uh, the flu. The flu. You got the flu. Yes, oh. my my wife was was the uh, was sick, and after her, I started to to get sick too. After three days, that he started start. Started. She started. She started. She started. Yeah. She started. With symptoms. Yes. Um, but it's just a cold. It's just a flu. Yes, it's just, it's just a, a flu. Are you both? Are you both vaccinated? Yes. Yes, we have two doses, and we can uh, program the the, the third. You're pro you're thinking, or have you programmed the third one? Uh, we are thinking to program for Jan January, maybe uh, in the in the 
uh, January uh, 15, maybe. We can we can program it in the system, but we we are waiting. <laughs> okay. I think I'm not getting the third vaccine. Big, why? Third shot. I don't know. It's just I don't know if that's really really needed. It's a whole dilemma with this virus, right? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, for for us, we we don't. We didn't get some symptoms about the, the vaccine, secondary symptoms. We, we, we didn't. Second effects? You didn't get any second effects? Not her, not you? No, no, we are good. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what are your plans for the future with your wife, if I can ask? I mean, yes. are, you, are you planning to have kids or travel to another country? Uh, First, we we can we want to to buy a house maybe the next year. I only I only um waiting for to complain to to complain maybe yes uh, six months in, in the new job. I have to waiting, I'm waiting to have no. I'm waiting to have six months working yes. in this company. Yes. Have you heard of uh? The Fondo Social para la Vivienda, the new line of credits they have. Yes, but Casa Joven, I think, is called or something. Yes, but uh, they don't. The the the, yeah, the 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 interest is low, but mm -hmm. the amount that they oh, provide you wow. is is less is less. How do you say? It's much less than what you. It's expect. much less than, than a bank. So maybe it's like seventeen, right? Yes. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I uh, the last year I was I wear no problem. Mm, I was, went I went to to I went to consult to check uh, to the to check and in a bank uh, they. Gave, gave me a, a loan for the double of the fund. Really? Yes, yeah, and the same salary. I don't know what, what is the, 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 the parameters. Was. How, long, how long were you working in, in the previous company? Uh, three and a half years. Three and a half? Three and a half years, yes. You know, I saw a video because one of these days, I'm always making my brain think about things that are out of my competence. So I was looking at a guy programming. There is a guy making videos about programming and he's rich. I mean, he makes a lot of money and he works from home. He's from Norway, I think. I think he's from Norway. But man, it, oh, I remember. I started watching this video about programming because he was making a tutorial on how to build your own keyboard. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, with no, no letters on the keyboard, you know, just a little keyboard. It was like this kind of keyboard. It was very small. Yes, uh, well, the problem is maybe the con this country because if you work for uh, an enterprise for, of USA, you you get more paid. You get better than, paid than here. Yes, better paid than here. A lot, uh, is maybe the you can triplicate your your earnings in a in a company of United States. You can triple. You can triple your payment. You can tri triple. Yes. Mm. That, is the that is the problem and uh, maybe I, what, what, that is the reason that I want to, to, to learn English because maybe I have the knowledge, the technical knowledge, but I have to, to, to speak with my co-workers. I have to understand the, the technicians. All, all, all of that is very important in my career. You know, I, I have a friend in Canada. 
I mean, we were very friends, very close friends here in, in El Salvador. And then he moved to Canada. But you know, the funny story is that this is what happened. He, he was living with his parents all his life. Uh -huh. He was lazy. He, okay. never, he never learned to cook and an egg, plantains, nothing. To clean the house, nothing. Okay. So one day he decided he wanted to go to Canada with the excuse of visiting um, the Pope because the Pope was going to be in Canada, right? Juan Pablo. Okay. And he went to Canada. But he stood in Canada. And he said that he was gay. <laughs> so, so they told they they you know he went to court and he said he suffered of uh, denigration you know that he was persecuted here in the, in his country because he was gay. So they gave him the visa to stood you know as a resident in Canada. But after a few years, he felt lonely. And he came back for the love of his life. He was in love with a girl here in El Salvador. So he came back. He took her to Canada. And they are happy in Canada. But what I want to tell you is that he works as a pirate hunter. He works as a pirate hunter, a hacker hunter. Ah, oh. That's crazy. I mean, he, he closed down. He closed down once or twice, I think, uh, a website called the Pirate Bay. Have you heard of the Pirate Bay? Yes, yes, it's, where, it's, a, it's a site where you, you can find torrents or any content. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he closed it once, they opened it again. He closed it again, opened it again. It's, it's, a, it's a game, you know. I, I, I hear him very excited when he talks to me like, man, my job is amazing. And, he spends the whole day in between racks. Do you know what are racks, right? Yes, when the servers are. Uh huh. So he, he spends the whole day among cables and racks and computers. He's a geek. Uh, He's a uh, real geek. That is a good, a good job. I... <laughs> he lives in Ontario. You know, he's happy. Fine. Canada is a good place to live and to work. I I heard about that. I have a friend that. He's a, he's a development by me, but uh, he he got he went to, to Canada and uh, until now he is living there. And then you give it a try. Maybe in the future we only we with with my wife we can travel travel to Canada or uh, the mm -hmm. United States. Do you have a lot of potential for Canada because you are about to be parents, you know, they have a great future and they see that, they see that in Canada, you know, so, and you're working for a very good uh, niche of market, let's say. A good yes, market. in uh, uh, another world, in, the, in, the, in Europe, in Europe, you can, for example, in Netherlands, you can find uh, a lot of work of development that is uh, a high demand. Yeah. The more experience you have, the better. Okay, Fer, thank you for staying. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Okay, good night. Good night. <laughs>